Hello and welcome to another Draw Along with Dan. I'm cartoonist Dan Letha and today we're going to be drawing a fennec fox. A little cutie that uh, I found a photo of and I thought we got to draw this. Now I've drawn one of these already in my feature Draw It and Know It for the Ministry Reasons for Hope. So if you want to check that out, go to YouTube and uh, search for Reasons for Hope and then find the, the playlist for Draw It and Know It and you'll find a bunch of those instructional uh, features there where I teach kids how to draw uh, line by line the animal and then I give them a little creation lesson at the end but I've, I've so I've drawn fennec fox in that but we're going to do a little more complicated version of the fennec fox today so get out your pencils and then later on we're going to be inking over the top of our pencil drawings so right away I see a very large head very large and cute I'm going to break down the shapes of the fennec fox and then um, and then even inside that there's where the eyes go across there there's the muzzle with the, the very dark little beady eyes but they're cute and then the nose right there so breaking things down into basic shapes can really help when drawing it later on. And the ears are gigantic. This little guy lives in the desert and he needs to uh, listen for predators and other things that could hurt him. So lives in the, I believe in the dark too. So. We got these two front legs. Now the body is relatively small compared to the the head and the ears, especially. So when we make our cartoon version, we're going to pay attention to that. The back legs. All right, everything's. And then the tail little fox tail right there. All right, so let's take the uh, the broken down version here and move it down so we can kind of use that as a guide as we're going to do our cartooning. I'll put that over here. There we go. All right, I want to get a different layer and we're going to do our pencil sketch. And like I said, <clears throat> this is a cartoon, so we're going to make that head a lot bigger than the photo reference that we see here. <clears throat> Got our very large head, cute little face, the eyes go across. And then these large, really big ears, part of what makes it so cute. <clears throat> I had big ears when I was a kid, but uh, somehow they weren't considered cute, and I got laughed at for them, but uh, it works different on a fennec fox. And then the uh, little button nose. In fact, we're going to make that muzzle smaller, because it is cute. And then the eyes usually on uh, cartoons that are cute the eyes are made very large so this fennec fox has as large eyes anyway good for seeing at night time and then cute little smile the markings on the fennec fox almost make it look like it's smiling so we're gonna, we're gonna draw that smile cheek there and then on the other side too and they've got that little tuft of hair that foxes do so it's kind of like a shape like that And we're going to add some more forehead because there's 
more that I didn't put in in the original sketch. And that kind of does it for the, the breakdowns of the fox here. Now the body <clears throat> is, uh, is going to be tiny. So you get that upper, upper chest, upper, uh, and I, I suppose that includes the neck too. And then we're going to draw the bottom part, which is the, the legs. And then we'll draw the, uh, the front two feet. So some ovals for the feet there. And this leg is actually kind of poking out a little bit. And then comes that like that. This leg, you can see more of it. But it comes out and then a little paws are right there. Now just because the, the tail's laying down doesn't mean that we have to make it like that. So we can give this a little more life by... making the tail kind of poke up like he's alert and and uh, maybe even wagging it a little bit, I don't know. So there's our little fennec fox roughed in. Uh, I'm going to lessen the opacity now. Put that back. So that I can ink over the top of it. And uh, let's see how cute we can make this little guy. Go to black. Increase the size of my pen a little bit. I'm on a different layer. So let's... Um, there's some important shapes here in the Fennec Fox to get it right. So one of them is... that line right there and this line right there that bridge of the nose uh, very important shapes we're just going to give them a little button nose and put a little little uh, shine on his nose and we're just going to color it in all right and then the mouth, the mouth cheeks, or the cheeks anyway, there we go, and he's got his little, little bottom lip, indications of fur now the uh, that tuft of hair kind of starts from the corner of the eye a bit so we're gonna go like that we'll draw some fur right there and then we'll go over to the other side and draw like that and like I said I want to save in other videos, I've said that uh, I like to save the eyes for last, so I'll do that here too. But I will draw some, some like little eyebrows, little fuzzy eyebrows, and then we'll go up. And part of the reason he's so cute is that he's got kind of a baby face. Now, I believe this is an adult fennec fox, so they. They have this baby cuteness. All the way through the life. And there have been cartoon movies in the past. I'm not going to tell you which one this one particular one is. But anyway, they uh, the animators spent a bit of time 
sketching the uh, the real thing. It was, it was a movie about animals, and so they spent time sketching the real the real thing, and then they wanted to make this main character especially very very cute. And the main character was a was a young animal uh, for the most part of the movie. And so you're, the animators studied a baby's face. What makes a baby cute? And they found that it was the large forehead and then the tiny little face in front that uh, is something that makes babies cute. And so that's what they did with this animal. The, the real life animal doesn't have a large forehead at all, but they put a large forehead on this this little cartoon character and and boom it was very very cute and audiences loved this little animal if you have any guesses about which cartoon movie character I'm talking about you can put uh, you can put your guesses in the comments below Draw the little toes on the foot. I guess I could have uh, roughed those in in my rough sketch stage, but uh, I decided I'll just do that with the inks. The body's fairly simple, not a lot of detail there, but it is important that it. Uh, is constructed right. And then these little toes here from the feet from the back. Finish the little bottom there and then the, the leg on the other side. Now those of you that are watching are watching from by way of video. I'm uh, recording this in my studio. So if you guys can stop and start the video as you need to. So there's the little body of the fennec fox. With some more little fur. There we go. And then I think that tail needs a little a little something too. There we go. So a little fuzzy tail. And now the eyes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna draw the top of the eyes first. And then I'll draw the the bottom part of the eyes. Now the they're they're, uh, they're very dark eyes, so there's no white in them. But like the nose has that little shine on it. And draw a circle there. And draw a circle here. And then we're going to color in the all the eyes because the fennec fox is very dark eyes. But he can see really well in the dark. So, and then like a little, a little shape or a little ring underneath there. And there's our little fennec fox. Let's see how he looks without the, uh, without the sketch. I want to fix something just a little bit right here, right there. 
There we go. So what a little cutie, and I hope you had fun drawing the Fennec Fox. I'm going to finish my drawing now by signing my name. Check out my website at danletha.com for more of my artwork and all kinds of other stuff that I like people to know about. And uh, watch for me Monday through Friday at noon for more Draw Along with Dan. Thanks for watching.